All right, two-digit two digit number between one and a hundred. Okay. Thirty-three. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Holy sh shoot! A cold reading is you warm up the sucker by telling him things that he says. How could he ever know that? You see, you say you know between the ages of uh, thirteen and. 15, you had a, a great change came in your life, but that happens in everybody's life. <laughs> so a few weeks back, I came across a video by a guy who claimed to be a mentalist. Mentalism. It is the secret art of seemingly being able to read minds. He uses psychology and basically like mind tricks. Uh, Irene? <laughs> Alex, look at me. I roll with Irene. In order to lead you down a certain direction or make you answer a question a certain way so that he knows it before you think he knows it or she. And, and Whoopi, you saw it also? Yes, yes, yes. Can you tell us, this is the first, what was the name of your first love? Elton. Oh my God! I don't believe in psychics. I don't believe people can read minds. I'm a man of science, so I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna try to learn those tricks in a day, and you know, we'll see what happens. So, just with a preliminary YouTube search, uh, I'm seeing a bunch of stuff about like palm reading and like how to uh, assess a person's characteristics based on like how long their fingers are and weird stuff like that. I'm not sure how based in reality this is, but this is why I'm gonna put it to the test and see what happens. Just from uh, watching videos the last couple hours or doing research, it's sort of like evil genius stuff. You know, it's like learning these like mind tricks and like the power of persuasion. And it's like mostly just psychology, I feel like, rather than illusion or magic. <laughs> okay, all right, cut, cut the deck. Uh, I want you to think of a six digit number. Okay. Oh yeah, I can use it. None of those are a I'm sorry. All right, so I'm gonna write, <laughs> write something down. If I told you to pick a number between one and 10, most people would end up picking either three or seven. If I told you to write down the numbers one, two, three, and four, and then underneath that, write a vegetable. For some reason, most people write carrot. I don't know why that is, but that's just the way it is. Think of, think of a, uh, somebody's name, anybody's name, who I don't know. Like, I couldn't know. Okay. So knowing these tools, knowing the way people's brains think, you can kind of guide them and trick them and persuade them into making certain choices, and that's what I was doing with these people. Now, the tricks um, didn't always work. Think of a number. 234. Okay. <gasps> what? But when they did, they were pretty damn effective. And then uh, the the number you picked <laughs> with the four crossed out. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! I just found his name right. Well, are you serious right now? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. How did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really your number. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. And I'm sufficiently freaked out again. There you go. That's what I had for your number. Which is correct, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I had for your name. But you wrote after. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're too good for this shit. On a scale of one to 10, I would give you a solid eight. I didn't know your birthday. Right. And I guess the number. How, how impressive is that? Um, I'd say like a six, okay. or seven. Okay. But like, yeah. The trick that I was most confused about was when you guessed the correct vegetable that John was picking. Not bad. I I thought a carrot too. A solid eight point five. <laughs>
Whoa, uh, that's a lot. Okay. Usually there's a point in these videos where I show you this montage of scene after scene of me failing to attempt whatever it is I'm trying to do. Well, with this, there really wasn't a whole lot of failure. Either you know the tricks or you don't. I'm home now. It's, uh, what time is it? It's eight o'clock at night. A lot of these videos, a lot of the techniques I've been watching, they're, they're, they're insanely simple. So me knowing how simple it is, and them not being able to get it, f fills me with this kind of, this feeling of power in a way that is incredibly invigorating and potentially, I feel like, addictive. I feel like there's a there's a fine line, right? Like you can deceive somebody and it's in good fun and then you sort of like tell them the trick and it's not a big deal. Or someone maybe willingly wants to be tricked. But there's no such thing as magic. And there's no such thing as mind reading. Uh, it's all just tricks, it's all just gimmicks. And um, the power of persuasion. And uh, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. But it's also equally frightening. Hey, Mark. What's up? Think of a number between one and ten. Okay. Do I say it? Seven. No. <laughs> what was it? You were one off. It was six. Okay. I heard you start with the S. And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs>